In this video, we will be going over unboxing your Mark II printer from MarkForge, as well as the accessories that accompany the printer and how to register your printer. You should receive two boxes with your Mark II shipment. One box containing the printer itself along with the accessories, and the second box containing a dry box with onyx material. The first thing you should do is inspect the boxes for damage. If you notice any significant damage, refuse delivery of the printer and contact MLC CAD systems. Once the box has been inspected, you can now begin to unbox your printer. This is what you should expect to see once you open the box. These items include the power cord for the printer, a set of keychains showing an example of the nylon and onyx base materials that were printed to test the printer, and a safety instruction manual for the printer. After removing the protective foam and plastic from your printer, you will find a box inside the printer that contains your accessories. This box contains the following items two spools of carbon fiber, one spool of fiberglass, one spool of high strength high temperature fiberglass, and one spool of Kevlar. A wide blade putty knife used for removing parts from the bed, a set of tweezers that are used to remove excess material from a hot nozzle as well as removing supports from a finished part, a torque wrench with a 10 mm and 7 mm bit used to remove and replace both the plastic and fiber nozzles, a 2.5 mm Allen wrench used for adjusting the fiber nozzle height, a set of three replacement nozzles for both your plastic and fiber, a set of replacement PTFE fiber nozzle inserts, a pair of bed leveling shims, one shim for the plastic nozzle and one shim for your fiber nozzle. These are used to set the correct distance between your print bed and nozzles when leveling the bed. One tube of anti-seize lubricant used when you replace the nozzles in your printer. One glue stick that is used before each print to promote adhesion between your part and the print bed. This also helps prevent part warpage. A piece of protective tubing that runs from your dry box to the back of your printer to help keep the materials dry. Two different types of USB connection cables. A Wi-Fi antenna to connect your printer to the wireless network. And lastly, your print bed. The second box that comes with your Mark II shipment should contain a dry box to hold your onyx and nylon materials. This box helps keep your materials from absorbing the moisture. Inside this dry box, you should find a spool of onyx material as well as a spool holder for that onyx material. In the last part of this video, I would like to go over registering your printer. To register and set up your printer, you must use Google Chrome. Go to www.iger.io forward slash register for printer setup and registration. Enter your user info and then create a username and password. You will then be sent a unique email invitation with a sign up link. Open that email invitation and select that sign up link. Once sign up is complete, you will automatically be logged into MarkForge Iger 3D printing software. You're going to enter both your email address and machine ID. Follow the on screen tutorial and continue with the printer setup. Visit support.markforge.com for additional setup and support.